cheerful guy and I just like to play a lot of jokes on people. I kind of didn't take everything too serious. Open Gangnam Style! Hi, my name is Jason Walter Lotran and I'm from Toronto, Canada and I play ADC for Demorals. Also learned, um... Oh, well, they're, they're looking to stop the Krugs, but Adrian and Turtle are waiting. Stun only hits one. Exhaust on a Sneaky. They're going to flash in. Sneaky's so going to get stunned. This is going to be bad. He gets hit up. Ren would kill him in a second. One more hit will do it. There's first blood. And Wild Turtle at 158 gets the first kill of the game. Now on to high. One more Randall chunk him to one third. I think most of their ulti is available. What kill can they find here? High taking a lot of damage. Pops it. Adrian gets the knockup as well. But still, this Alistair is tanky. Fate's call keeps Adrian safe. They're re-engaged towards Jensen. They chain the CC. They take him down. They're gonna get him back though. And the Lotus Explosion doing a bit of damage, but Wild Turtle is still unkilled. Sneaky running away, but vaulted on. But Rush is back. Can't find the Q. But here comes Curtain Call. Pobelter has to block this. He's gonna get slowed. He Four finds Tootie, and he gets the crit. Pobelter stops blocking it. And he goes back in for Sneaky. But Rush and Balls, unstoppable. Maybe even literally. Turtle! As he keeps going in. Turtle, one versus three. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, almost Santorin wanted it, but he knew the damage would be too much. All there up on the front line. By himself, they lock down Bjergsen. Does he have anything else to say with Cleanse in the fight? He goes back for the shots onto Quas, but he's too tanky to go down immediately. Turtle. Bjergsen forced to Turtle. pass out. Turtle coming up big on the other end of the fight. Deja vu from the oh previous my, match. Does Turtle it. the trip off. Turtle coming Turtle. in here <laughs> with the pentakill. six offensive items, but Reggie got mad at me after the game for not going like a QSS and I was like, no, man, the damage. Cloud9 catch a small reprieve there, but Immortals keep it up. They're actually going to finish the turret here. Nexus turret's getting taken down. You can see Sneaky trying to repair that backside. Prey Seeker seeking out the prey. 
he gets the kill he needs. And it looks like Immortals makes their way into the base, this time stopping their feet left and right. Rush is going to take a final hit from Turtle. He's on a bunny Fufu, even throw a breakable. Almost takes him down. And just waiting for a minion wave here. I got no, Turtle's not. Never mind. He doesn't need to wait. They are on to the Nexus turrets. One's already down in Immortals, clearly in the base. Oh, and they get it! <laughs> the Quadra for Turtle! Tur Just walk their way in. It's gonna follow through to a fight if they stay here. Balls get some hit down onto Rainover. Hooney very, very low, and he gets taken down by the Sidewinders. It comes back from Jensen. Pole Bouncer hit up by the Fisher. Oh, but the stop from Harley and Gale onto Sneaky's ultimate. Adrian with a huge play. Pole Bouncer goes down to Jensen, dives in melee range. Turtle and he goes down up. himself. Turtle got three in the Light Slinger, but he can't get the range. Unbreakable's up. Nothing's going to pass the wall. But uh, Immortals is inside the base. The shot on the stairs of the fountain. He can do standard lanes, yeah. and sometimes it is the proper play. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, Turtle finishes it off. Oh, Ready to get support showing the empty people there under the turret. Level four on Remy. This is a bit dangerous. Rain over. Pulverize the flash against the self knock up to the six. The push in for Remy. Yes, first blood. Rainover got so much far, but now the other two taken out. Renegades, unaware of how many people were down on this side of the map. 4v2, two kills picked up. Completely surprising me that he was level six, but he was level six that whole time. Okay, really? out of this will be another one. What a great chase. It was pretty hard leaving my teammates behind, leaving Burek, Reginald, like the whole management on TSM, and players like it was just a really great time for me so it was kind of hard leaving all my friends but I some things you just have to do I guess on their own and it's not Remy that had to do it so they're now getting counter engaged on what? <laughs> well someone made a play against Remy the same time she goes down the silence zone underneath the poppy knock yeah he is so strong right now and he has the healing backup of his bloodthirster as well as this rocker immortals looks to just be steamrolling through renegades for the win here they're looking for what the third sub 30 minute win of the day actually a lot of very one-sided fights here as immortals pushing in nudge killing people inside the base wild turtle gets his 11th kill a triple inside the renegades base Ready to pincer with the team. Whoa. Chrono breaks back, but he has got four members on him. Flashes over the wall, but he pulls a lot of resources from Liquid. And this is where Immortals is going to re-engage. A nice hit by Rainover. Monsoon, Matt back. He's got the Unbreakable Will on. It's actually very hard for both teams to get any targets in this fight. They're only finding tanks, and it is going to be Rainover going down first. Dardock falls. Whoa, next. Turtles! The junglers are out. Here it comes on to Matt. One more shot. That's going to be Hooney going in with the phase dive. Now under Lorlo, a double kill for Wild Turtle as he gets rolling. Piglet and Turtle in the standoff for the duel. The Foss Bomb comes over, breaks up the fight, and Poe Belter on the left field coming up through the turret. It looks like Immortals have won the ground, and to make peace, it's going to be Wild Turtle. Good luck stopping anyone on Immortals right now. They dive in doing a hell of a lot of damage. The multiple knockups, two kills already. They cannot be stopped. Here into the back line goes Hooney. A double kill for Wild Turtle. Hanser certainly next on the plate. He will drop as well. Yellow Star, the last man alive, watches the team dies and he joins them. A triple kill for the Corky, but it's just a complete slaughter now as it's just. <laughs>
TSM needs to wait for their minions. And less Cloud9 over engages. Here we go. Oh, the over engage indeed. Lemonation on the outside gets bounced. Dyrus, he wants it. Dives in onto balls. The Sanguine Pool saves him just at the last second. The 1v1 of Bjergsen and High. The bike goes down, but High is alive. And Bjergsen dies to the turrets. Turtle now is the focus. Death charge into Anchor Toss. They lock him down with the passive, but he is hopping around way too much on Callista. Turtle a double. Turtle a triple. Turtle a quadra. Could he be coming?